all right hey i just wanted to say sorry i'm so late um it took me a while to like actually get the motivation to record this uh, so i'm really sorry about that but i hope you enjoyed uh this was requested by somebody and the next request i'm going to be working on is the ojiro one uh if you have any requests just put them down below in the comments all right uh enjoy <laughs> Okay. Although it was a beautiful day outside, Tetsu Tetsu and Kirishima groaned out of defeat and slammed their heads onto the table. They were trying to study for math, but neither of them understood it. So, they waited and waited, not knowing what to do. Not even a minute later, they heard a knock on the door. The boys snapped their heads towards it. Come in, yelled out Kirishima, curious as to who could be the one knocking. The doors opened and there stood the the redhead's good old friend and classmate, listener. Uh, hey Kira, I came to return the magazine I borrowed not too long ago, you said happily, waving the stack of papers in your hand. Walking into the room, you also noticed Tetsu Tetsu. Oh, hi Tetsu! He greeted with a smile, which he returned with one of his own, but a small blush appeared on his cheek, which you didn't really notice. Well, what you guys doing? you asked. Well, Kirishima rubbed the back of his neck while nervously laughing. We were supposed to be studying, but we kinda don't understand a single thing. Um, what are you studying exactly? Math. You looked at them as they just sat there with a gloomy expression on their face. Uh, I can help if you'd like. The two teens looked at you surprised. Really? They shouted at the same time, making you jump in the process. Uh, yes, but first I'll go and get my things, okay? Alright! You're the best, listener! yelled Kirishima after you exited his dorm room. Not even a second after you left, Kirishima nudged Tetsu Tetsu's shoulder. Yo, this is your chance, bro! Uh, what? The boy stuttered and looked at his friend confused. Don't play dumb. I know you have a crush on listener, and now she's gonna help both of us out. You can get to know her more. And then, before he could continue, Tetsu Tetsu interrupted him. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. How do you know about that? Y you kidding? It's totally obvious. At least to me. The redhead put his finger under his chin, wondering if others noticed too beside him. Oh, God. Tetsu Tetsu let out a muffled groan, hiding his now deep red face in the palm of his hands. It's not that badly noticeable, Kirishima tried to comfort his friend. You two would be so great together, and I'm sure she likes you too, if you were thinking of getting rejected. Tetsu Tetsu's head shot up. Listener? Liking him? No way. There is no way someone is nice, cute, pretty, kind, intelligent, basically a perfect person like her would like somebody like him. Something like that would not even happen in his dreams. Just the thought of that made him sad. Are you kidding? There's no way. What are you talking about? Just look at me, Tetsu Tetsu pointed towards himself. I'm telling you. That it's impossible for someone like her to like someone like me. Can't you see how beautiful, kind, and smart she is? And what am I next to her? Just an average-looking, hothead, stupid guy that doesn't stand a chance. Let's face it. She's just way out of my league. He let his head hang low. There was a silence after he finished talking. Neither of them said a word. Kirishima was trying to think of something to say to his lovesick friend to make him feel better. Look, Kirishima started making Tetsu Tetsu look, at, look up at him. Some parts of what you said were true. You being hot-headed was one of them. But you were also kind, helpful, strong, and manly. You shouldn't sell yourself short. And I didn't say that you should confess to her right away. Tetsu Tetsu was a little taken aback by the compliments, but was quick to regain his composure. Then what should I do? Ask her to hang out with you. Like a date? Yeah! Kirishima said proudly, crossing his arms over his chest. Isn't that almost like telling her my feelings? N no, no, no. You aren't going to tell her it's a date. Just like friends hanging out, spending some time together. You know what I mean, bro? I don't think that's a good idea. Come on, it's worth a try, don't you think? Even if she doesn't like you the way that you thought she would, you could still stay friends. Well, yeah, but Tetsu Tetsu didn't have time to finish since he heard the doors open. I'm back. Uh, sorry if it took so long. I couldn't find my textbook, said listener as she walked inside the room. Rubbing the back of her head. It's fine. Now, come on, let's get started, Kirishima said excitedly, pointing towards the spot next to Tetsu Tetsu. You sat down and the three of you got to work. 
Every so often, you explain to the guys how to solve the problem. Throughout the entire study session, a certain silver-haired male kept stealing glances of you out of the corner of his eyes, thinking if he should take the advice that his friend gave him or not. Time skip. After studying, listener was ready to head back up to her dorm. After collecting your books, you stood up, ready to go and rest. It was fun studying with you guys, but I'm afraid I have to go back to my room soon, he said smiling, and a bit disappointed that you had to leave. You wanted to stay as long as you could, but not wanting to make Izawa sensei angry, so you decided to call it a day. <sighs> Only if it wasn't for a certain silver-haired male student from class 1B who was making it hard for you to leave. You had fallen in love with the boy at first sight when you saw him fighting at the sports festival with your childhood best friend Kirishima. You didn't know why or how, you just did. And when Kirishima introduced you to him, you felt like you were in cloud nine. Of course, you became fast friends and got to know each other, and as time passed, the more your feelings grew for him. But not wanting the friendship to get ruined, you decided it would be best if you were to not tell him. I mean, they're just feelings, they'll go away eventually, right? Oh, yeah, I, I should probably get going, too. To your surprise, Tetsu Tetsu grabbed his belongings and stood, walking over to the doors where you're already standing. Okay, Kirishima said, giving the two of you a toothy grin while standing up. We don't want you guys getting in trouble now, do we? <laughs> yeah, you said, letting out a little chuckle. Kirishima gave Tetsu Tetsu a small smirk, which made him nervous. I'm sorry, listener, I can't really walk with, with you to your dorm this time, he said, scratching the back of his head. Still have some problems I need to solve. Oh, it's fine, Kiri, I understand. He gave him a reassuring smile. It's not like you have to walk me back all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Be careful, you two, on your way back. Bye, he waved. See you tomorrow, bro, Tetsu Tetsu yelled, which made you giggle to yourself thinking how cute he was. Exiting the dorm room, the two of you started to head towards your destinations. Uh, I'll walk you to your room, the teen standing next to you said. Letting out a hum... You looked up at him before answering. You don't have to, you know? I don't want you to be late and get in trouble because because of me. I mean, besides, you must be tired after studying so much, he said, smiling up at him. Tetsu Tetsu felt his whole face heating up after seeing a sweet smile on your face, which made his heart melt. Uh, but still, it wouldn't be manly if I were to let a girl walk around all by herself. You let a small giggle. Well, if you insist, but if you get in trouble for being late, then don't blame me, he said in a joking tone. Uh, I would never. He, he laughed at his reply. Uh, Tetsu, you asked. He turned his head towards you, letting you know that he was listening to you. Is everything all right? He froze for a moment. Oh no, don't tell me she found out. <laughs> the silver-haired boy mentally panicked. Yes, why? Mm, I don't know, you just seemed quieter than usual. I was? Yeah. I mean, when I was walking back to Kiri's room to study with you guys, I could hear you faintly yelling about something. At this point, he was sweating like crazy. When I came in, you didn't say anything, really. Only when you had questions about the subject. Is everything okay? <laughs> Were you two talking about something important and I just, like, walked in disturbing you guys? You turned your whole body towards him, trying to make eye contact, but his face was tilted downward and his bangs were covering them. If you tell me, maybe I could help you? It's nothing. Nothing important, really, he said, finally lifting his head up. You sure? Y yes, absolutely, he answered, giving you a thumbs up and a wide smile that showed his shark-like teeth. You let, him, you let out a small sigh, trying your best to keep calm. Well, as long as you're sure, but don't forget I'm here for you if you need anything, okay? You smiled up at him. He replied with just a nod. The rest of the walk was silent. The hot-headed boy next to you didn't even realize you had already arrived at your dorm room, only when you came to a sudden stop. Uh, well, thank you for walking with me. Hope you don't get in trouble because of this, he said, facing him, giving him a warm smile. Oh, yeah, no problem, he answered, a small blush evident on his cheeks. You were about to say goodbye and go to your room, but a hand took a hold of your wrist and stopped you from doing so. You stared down at your wrist, then slowly lifted your head up. As a silver-headed boy realized his actions, he quickly released your wrist and rubbed the back of his neck. Uh, sorry, I just, um, I thought we could, like, uh, hang out sometime, you know, when you're free. You blinked. The two of us? Like a date? <laughs> you said, trying to hide the excitement in your tone. Yeah, I mean, if you want to call it a date, but then we can call it that. But if you're uncomfortable with it, then we don't have to. You silenced him by giving him a small kiss on his cheek. 
I would love to. After a small pause, you continued. Uh, it's getting a little late. We'll talk tomorrow, okay? You looked up at him with a small blush covering your cheeks. Have a good night, was the last thing you said before quickly entering your dorm room, leaving the shark boy standing quite in front of it like a statue. Let's just say after that, he got to his own room and called up his bro and thanked him over and over again for the advice. Congratulations on making it to the end. Um, as I said in the intro, put any character requests or fanfiction requests in the comments. Um, I think that's about it. I think I might start having like a schedule for posting and everything. It'll probably be at least three times a week, but I don't really know. It just depends on the motivation that I have. Because sometimes I really like to read fanfics, other times I don't. I go through like little phases of it. Um, yeah. Alright. Goodbye!